thank you for watching Life on the Pageant Planet. I'm Kristen Darden and this is Faith and we're going to be talking about evening gown. In our session earlier today, we talked a little bit about evening gown and some quick and easy tips that we can do to make your evening gown beautiful. One of the things that we talked about was being able to have a slow and consistent walk. When you're talking about speed, you just want to be consistent. So what's one of the things that you've learned on stage? I learned that just keeping a, a really steady pace, not speeding up, not slowing down, just keeping it consistent is definitely going to help you excel in evening gown because if you think you're going too fast and you slow down, it just looks a little bit awkward. So if you just keep going at the same pace the whole time, preferably slow, it really turns out really nice. Very good. You just want to make sure that you're not um, using the music as your pace. You really want to make sure that no matter what's going on in the music, that whatever speed that you started with is the one that you stick with. Mm -hmm. So very good. Another thing that we talked about in the evening gown is being able to incorporate your hands. No matter what type of evening gown you have, long or short or fluffy or mermaid, adding your arms to the situation always brings a little bit more interest. So going up the line of your body to incorporate your arms is something that we can do to kind of stand out. And you don't have to be afraid because I know a lot of people um, just want to take everything out of evening and be very simple because it's, it is elegant. We want to make sure that our performance on stage isn't boring. So how did you feel about using your arms today? I think it really did a lot for, like it would do a lot for my gown, just raising them up and really enhancing how little your waist is, that's kind of every girl's goal anyway, so it really, really helped a lot. Very true, having a small waist definitely <laughs> is going to help you in the points. So definitely accentuating those things and not being afraid to use your arms and let them flow easily and being able to incorporate them up and down your body is something that's going to definitely be high impact for you. One other thing that we talked about in our session earlier today is being able to complete pageant circles. So with your pageant circle, just as in walking, you want to make sure that you keep that slow and consistent speed, that, they're, that you're really using your arms, and also you want to make sure that you don't lose your face on the second half of your pageant circle. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming around the first half of your pageant circle, when you come to the second or the middle point, you want to make sure that you're starting to look back over your shoulder. Was that easy to do? Yeah, once you explained it to me, it made a lot more sense because that is the back of your dress and there'll be a lot of pictures taken because a lot of girls' dresses have a lot more detail on the back. So looking over your shoulder just kind of completes the picture, completes the package, and really, really does help. Definitely. You just want to make sure that you're getting as many pictures in as possible, and you're going to do that at the top of the runway, at the back of the runway, and then also at the top again. So you want to make sure that when you're doing your pageant circle that you don't miss any of those pictures because that's the money shot. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much for working with us in the session today on evening. Thank you. Thank you for watching Life on the Pageant Planet. I'm Kristen Darden, your walking coach.